Hi there, my name is Reynold Byers and I'm a clinical professor in the Supply Chain Management Department in the W.P. Carey School of Business here at ASU. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to our course, SCM 587 Project Management. Now this is a course taught in many of our uh, graduate programs, including our full-time, evening, and online MBA programs, our Master's in Management, and our Master's in Supply Chain Management programs. It is a single course, and so uh, our course philosophy is to try to expose our graduate students to all the management challenges, the tools and techniques that they're going to encounter in the business world. Now, project management, as we all know, is ubiquitous. It's everywhere in the business world. Um, and this is a single course, so we're trying to expose our students and prepare them for a broad range of experiences. Uh, so the characteristics of this course, necessarily it's broad. We're, we're not trying to cover exactly everything, but we're trying to capture uh, most of the management situations that they will find themselves in, either as a team, manage, a team member or as a project manager. Um, we want to be hands-on to give them a feel for how project management works. Uh, we have a management focus. This is not a certification prep course, for example. Now, we, we do tie closely into the PMBOK and other features um, of project management training, but our focus is always on how to address management issues, what you'll face, how to do it, rather than just prepping for the test. Now we do try to cover a range of both hard and soft skills, those quantitative aspects and the, the softer skills of managing people and teams. Now the topics that we cover, just to give you a brief overview, uh, we do cover scheduling, things like critical path, Gantt charts, network diagrams, PERT. Um, depending on the instructor, there may be specific software used or not, uh, depending on uh, instructor's philosophy. For example, in my case, I not, don't use a specific software. I prefer to prepare them uh, with concepts and ideas and tools, and then they will be able to apply them in whichever software they end up using because there's a broad range. Uh, we also cover planning from chartering to scope management, work breakdown structures, risk analysis, all those stages that come um, before the work of scheduling and execution. We, in the execution phase, we talk about schedule crashing or schedule compression, earned value analysis. Uh, we talk about the concept of task bias, which may not be too common in project management courses, but comes out of some research done by colleagues of mine. Well, basically, we talk about how do you keep sight uh, of the project objectives? In a sense, don't lose the forest for the trees. Um, so how do you work that in as a manager to keep your uh, project working to deliver the value that it has? Uh, we talk about managing teams, managing people, team structures, leadership approaches, motivation, use of information uh, with teams. Uh, because so many times project managers will say, oh, the hardest thing is not the scheduling or the planning, it's the people. Uh, whether that's true or not, uh, we want our students who go through this course to be prepared for both right, those project management specific skills and working with the people on their teams. Finally, we do cover agile methods. We want our students to be prepared uh, because many of them do go into situations, uh, tech companies and others, where they are using agile. So we want them to understand Scrum, uh, the idea of a sprint, the philosophy and application of agile methods. And that, that's a pretty broad range of topics and we all cover them potentially slightly different or uh, differently or in different amounts but that's what we cover in our course overall now our approach to this course uh, first off it's a flipped course most of the lectures are pre-recorded and the students watch them outside of class time and then when they come into the course we have a very hands-on approach uh, where they're doing problems or working on cases or doing simulations and projects inside the class. This picture is from a, one of my favorite simulations uh, where the student teams have to do this little project. It seems silly, uh, admittedly, um, but what they don't know is there's, there's a trick. If they haven't worked with their team according to the principles that we've taught them about team management, they miss the trick um, in making this project successful. 
Uh, again, like we said, we have a managerial focus. So we do cover our Harvard Business School cases. We want them to see the challenges managers face and how they might be able to think through them and approach them in a project management context. Finally, we try to be very applied. Uh, this comes in different forms. In our full-time MBA, for example, this course is just a lead-in to an applied projects course that lasts for an entire semester. Well, they'll work on an actual project from a corporate sponsor. In other programs, this could be something like this project history lesson where they think through a project they've done before and talk about how they would revise it according to the tools and techniques uh, or simulations or others, but always with an eye to having the students think about not just the concepts and the theories, but what they would actually do with them uh, to make their work in project management successful. Uh, some of the faculty that teach this course uh, at different times and throughout the programs, uh, there's me, uh, Reynold Byers. Uh, we have Professor Kevin Dooley, who also holds a joint appointment with the School of Sustainability. Uh, Antonio Sprintezis, who is another clinical professor here in supply chain management. And one of our faculty associates, Manny Janakiram, who's been a longtime executive at Intel, uh, teaches this for us in the online and sometimes in the evening MBA programs. And that is our SCM 587 project management course offered in our graduate programs. Uh, for more, more information, feel free to contact me at this email.